Hello, I'm Trent, aka O Trademark. I want to talk to you guys about the ancient stone quest. So if if you don't know, you talk to the ancient stone. I'll show you where it's at. Let's go over here. Uh teleport demon forest. When you get to demon forest, you're gonna head over to your right side. You're gonna go over the top of the mountains here. If you haven't already gone here, then you're gonna have to uh I think buy a gate right here. But uh, then you're going to head over this direction into this cave of wonders down here. And you're going to talk to this ancient stone. He's going to tell you to do three quests. And he's going to tell you to kill Yellow Force. And because most of you don't even look at the names of enemies, you're going to be like, what the heck is a Yellow Force? And you're going to look for a Yellow Force around... <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna look for a yellow force enemy somewhere in demon slayer and guess what it's not in demon slayer uh i i know a bunch of you did it so don't admit it you did it it's okay i'm sorry i did it too it's a little bit confusing maybe we'll, we'll t tweak up the quest but yellow forces are actually in uh this in dragon ball so it's meant it's meant to kind of be a like a sarcastic like a play on words because he asks you to do something very easy which is like kill 10 yellow force and then you go back or you complete that he tells you to kill 10 red force which again is very easy uh but then his third quest is kill 5,000 enemies now that is quite difficult my suggestion for you if you want to kill 5,000 enemies is do exactly what i did which is go to a world like uh like dragon ball works okay go near the spawn where you have the orb uh by the boss because you want to kill the boss because you want to get medals and you're going to turn your auto attack on make sure your auto attack range is in range of the boss and basically you're just going to open while killing the boss uh and you're just going to get tons of kills because you're in a lower world you just basically one shot everything as you can see um this is kind of annoying in public servers to do because a lot of other people kind of do it it makes it much harder but uh, if you don't have a private server, we are trying to improve weight. We're trying to come up with some uh, solutions to actually make it not so annoying to deal with that in uh, in the in public servers. So, but in the meantime, basically you sit around here, you just open, you know, do whatever you want while you're doing this, and then you're basically going to build up a certain number of. Uh, a certain number of 5,000 of your kills. And when you get done with that, your 5,000 kills, you're going to be given your very own dragon summon. Now this goes to question number four, the fourth most asked question on my stream today, which is how do I summon a cosmic? scientist jeff asking you to summon a cosmic you don't even got one uh this is how you head over here uh to scientist jeff this is where it is if you haven't already repaired the cosmic summon it you repair it in world five i believe we kind of i wish i wonder if we can maybe switch these because i feel like you have there's much more need for the uh ascension machine early you don't really ever get uh yeah, it's very rare to get a cosmic earlier than that so anyways we got it we got our cosmic item here we're gonna head over to the cosmic summon we're gonna put our dragon summon in and now you see that this says a hundred percent to get this specific unit all right i'll talk about this how the cosmic summons work after this but let's just let's just take a moment to appreciate the beautiful work by by uh glitch and abu and naikto and all the people that worked on on the animations and the effects on this game they've done an absolutely amazing job on this summonation uh summon animations very very cool i love it but uh here you go comes in here you saw part of it in the trailer but i cut out a lot of this so it's pretty cool see the black black hole you got it and then wabam there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Apex Fury. All right, so now here's the thing. Um, 
once you get a different cosmic uh i'm trying to think how i can show you guys the hold up other another cosmic uh yeah here let's just use the the test thing tester my thingy all right so uh when you use a different cosmic let me explain how this works so for let's go to world two with like one piece okay so one piece now has a 50 50 split and players are asking well, well why is it 50 50 now the way that cosmics actually work is uh if we go one more world up and this is how they'll work for the foreseeable future in the as we go forward is uh you actually have a 33 percent chance of getting one of three cosmics the cosmic of the item so if you're opening in my hero academy you're gonna get this summon item the hero summon okay and it's a 33 percent chance to either get all might 33% chance to get Shanks or 33% chance to get uh, Gohan. So basically it's only the first two worlds that kind of have that like different option on them. But then from then on, you basically have this one in three chance, okay, of getting something. Now, thanks to the faction system, the order chaos system, uh, and we do actually have the rarity of getting cosmics in the game is actually... Uh, much easier than it used to be in, in anime fighters well not when max opens was introduced but uh once you actually get your uh, your unit even if you don't get the one that you necessarily want you're still going to have a lot of uses for it right you're still going to be able to ascend them uh you're going to be able to do uh you're going to be able to scrap them into essence if you want to ascend something else so i don't think it's going to feel as bad as like let's just say let's say it did when you uh when you like got the the older divine when like a new divine came out and you got the older one it felt really bad we're trying to make it so it still feels good regardless of which of the three that you get but yeah you probably will have your eyes on one or whatever we will i i have discussed you know maybe introducing some kind of uh some kind of way where you could trade in you know maybe three summons for a guaranteed one if you don't want to risk it with the 33 percent chance i don't know we'll we'll try and come up with something so in case you are target farming uh it's not too annoying for you guys but that's basically the cosmic summon process that's what you get from the ancient rock there um and these these uh cosmic units are like the very very end game units uh and i will say that for those of you who have opened a godly cosmic congratulations they're very rare but uh i can't wait for you guys to actually see the cosmics the godly cosmic summon because there's a little different summon animation which is also very cool so anyways guys uh that is it for me good luck on your summons good luck getting your cosmics you can get your first one like i said just by completing that quest there and i'm gonna give you a hint there is uh yeah you're just keep playing, keep going, and the uh, the cosmics will come, especially as you get your utility teams all bumped in there. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Follow Alpito. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm out of here.